Hi, I'm John Asbury. I'm the chief executive of Atlantic Union Bank. We're based in Richmond, Virginia, and we're a mid-sized bank. Um, I'm an 87 finance grad out of Virginia Tech. Over the course of my career, I've been all over the country. And as I think about my experience at Virginia Tech and what it did for me, it really initially gave me the tool set, uh, the, the understanding, the technical skills that I needed to begin my career and be successful. And I went into a training program at a bank called Wachovia that is no more, where I was the first Virginia Tech graduate ever. And I was up against people from Duke and Chapel Hill, uh, Emory, Wake Forest. And what I immediately learned, even back then, was how well I had been schooled. And so I'm deeply grateful for the fundamental underpinnings. Also, uh, my career choice of being a banker was in part inspired by Dr. George Morgan. I was his student. I took his banking class. And I am from Radford. Believe it or not, people are from the area. <laughs> so I hokey, true and true. Mm. Thank you, John. Viral, any words? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Viral. Uh, I'm a professor of finance at NYU Stern School of Business. Uh, my stock goes up whenever there is banking stress around. That's like a sh short. That's why you're smiling. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. But I'm very grateful to Vijay and uh, Raman. I've known them over the years, and Vijay invited me to do the panel, and it's my absolute delight to be here with all of you. Thank you, Viral. George. Uh, thank you. Welcome, every, everyone. Uh, I'm the so-called truest professor of finance. Uh, this is my 39th year. I appreciate uh, VJ giving me the opportunity to have uh, these 39 years of uh, fabulous adventure uh, and experience with, uh, with a lot of you in the audience and a lot of uh, Hokies, so glad to be here. And we'll go over to the side, Mike. Uh, my name's Mike Clark. I was an 83 finance grad. Um, and uh, Virginia Tech was extremely influential in uh, my career. It gave me the, uh, the idea of uh, what I wanted to do as a career as well as the technical skills to execute on it. And a lot of it goes back to George Morgan. He must have been 12 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was 12 and a half, maybe. <laughs> and I took uh, commercial banking with him. We played the bank game. And in that same year, I also had a speaker. And the guy, the guy was the name of Jim Rakes. He was the CEO uh -huh. of National mm -hmm. Bank of Blacksburg. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Young guy, very successful. And I thought, I want to be like that guy. Lauren. Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren Lynch. I'm a senior studying finance and accounting. I'm also a co-CEO of BASIS, which faculty advisor is Dr. Morgan. Um, I'm also going full time at Bank of America in investment banking this summer. And Jim. Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Young. I'm the Global Chief Data Officer for AIG. So I'm a little bit of the oddball here. I'm not in a finance career, um, maybe traditionally <coughs> anymore. And I'm also in the property casualty insurance space, not the banking space. Um, but what I will say, I'm a 92 grad of the Pamplin Finance School uh, from Virginia Tech. And um, I've been in financial services my whole career, so in banking, and then eventually morphed over into PNC insurance. <clears throat> so everything I learned in school gave me the underpinnings, both the, the technical and quantitative skills, as well as just the business acumen and understanding of risk management and how that applies in different business models. And that's been so important and still important today. And by the way, you know, no matter how far you get in your career, people are going to ask you the ROI on whatever it is you're doing. So remember that. 